water with fit, fish and plant healthy. Helping her seven-year-old daughter with homework is the highlight of her week. Keeping up with Tiana's education isn't always easy. When Shelly's eldest daughter left for university, she took the family computer with her. That left grade two Tiana without a PC. I was blank. I had no idea where to go. Like, seriously. Shelly couldn't afford a new computer, but wanted her younger daughter to have these skills. We're living in a digital, digital age, and it's, it's the digital literacy skills they get from it, it's the critical learning skills, um, things such as legibility, organization, organizational skills. Randy Lysing is a technology consultant with the Edmonton Public School Board. As a former teacher, he knows how important media literacy is. At least access to a computer, whether it means grandma and grandpa's, whether it means going to a library um, in a public place. It's not always so simple. According to the Canadian Council of Social Development, one-third of children in low-income families have a computer at home, compared with two-thirds in high-income homes. It's quite the digital divide. Let's just fix it all. One that the Edmonton School Board is trying to make up for by equipping all schools with either a computer lab or PC in class. There's also a buddy system in place to help struggling students. Shelly wanted more for young Tiana, so she took matters into her own hands. Um, I'm Shelly calling from Electronic Recycling Association. A friend told Shelly about ERA, a nonprofit organization that recycles old computers and donates them to less fortunate families. Well, first I was a little leery, actually. I was, and then I phoned Mitch, and no, I went down and I cleaned for them, and I did telephone calls for them, and they, he, we have a laptop here. She's put in 40 hours of volunteer work, doing a variety of odd jobs. ERA's manager sympathized with her story. I know what it's like to be without a computer and stuff like that when you really need something that you maybe don't have the means to acquire for whatever reason. And so given the opportunity to you know, make that a possibility for someone, was, it's a good feeling. And so a little hard work has gone a long way. Tiana joins nearly 70% of children who already have a computer at home. With wireless internet, she can play games, practice typing and surf the web. Shelly wants to get the word out. There's always help out there available. You just have to be ready to volunteer and research. And if there's a will, there's a way. A will that young Tiana appreciates. Um, well, I know my mom worked really hard. Since most kids adapt quickly to technology, perhaps these digital skills will rub off on other members of the family. And a lot of those kids actually go home and help their parents with, those, uh, with their skills as well. Molly Thomas, Global News.